There's a couple of things I really want to do. First, we're gonna go get some coffee and go sit by the water and just like slowly wake up. And then I need to go clean up my car. It is filthy and disgusting. I'll show y'all later. And then I think my husband and I are gonna make breakfast this morning. So I need to go get like milk. I know we have eggs, we have butter. We have pancake mix. We have grits, but yeah, I need like milk. I don't know, that might honestly be it, but we'll see by the time we get there. Let's go get the coffee. Man. I'm outside in a damn cheese. Right outside. My freaking eyes are watering. There's a lash in this eye. I need to stop wearing mascara and like not taking the shit off. Because now we have this. Anyways, I'm trying to get this eyelash out of my eye before I get to the window and they'd be like, oh my god, what's wrong with her? I'm at the Starbucks drop through. I'm waiting to order. So, yeah. I saw this drink. The drink that I'm going to order, I saw on TikTok. And literally, i obsessed. Genuinely obsessed. But your girl has been in the gym. I've been consistent and shit. I've been working a lot. Um, I guess this is like a, lo a little life update. But I've been working a lot. I've been in the gym consistently, y'all. Like, consistently. For the past three weeks. So, I've kind of been putting my focus into that. Which is why I've been making a lot of, like, TikToks. Um, like, get ready with me TikToks. And just different type of TikToks. But... It's fine. I need to show y'all some love, too, because I miss doing YouTube. Y'all don't understand. Like, YouTube, for me, is like, I don't know. It's like my baby. But I did see this TikTok, and he was like, this is like a motivational message. The thing you want, in reality, it sucks, but it takes consistency. And it's on the other side of doing shit that you don't want to do all the time. It really made me stop and think, like, all the stuff that you're complaining about that you want, is literally on the other side of doing the shit that you need to do to get where you want to get to. You know what I'm saying? Like, case in point, for my YouTube, sometimes, y'all, I be so discouraged with my YouTube. Like, I just be like, damn, bro, like, it's not where I want it to be. I'm not growing as fast as I want to or whatever. But, like, okay, how much effort am I really putting into the YouTube? Yes, over the years, you know, I put in the effort, but I kind of, like, equate it to when I went to school and I was in college. I went to school for four years straight, Okay, I only had maybe, I didn't even have breaks for summer, so why am I taking breaks for myself? You know what I mean? Like, kind of like align whatever it is that you're trying to do, kind of align it with something that you do effortlessly that you know you have to do and you get it done. Why are you not putting that same energy into your shit? That is probably, that's it. That's the magic pill. That is probably why you don't have what you want or whatever you say you want in this life. The unfortunate reality of the situation is most things worth having are on the other side of an overwhelming degree of consistency for an extraordinary period of time. How did I build social media platforms combined to over a million people? Consistency. I haven't missed a post in over a year. How did I build a physique that I was proud of? Consistency. I have only missed a handful of workouts in seven or eight years. That is not sexy. It is not fun most of the time, but that doesn't make it less true. The thing that you want most is either going to be difficult, boring, or both, as my friend Backsaid says. It is the unfortunate truth, and you're not having it. You don't have it yet because you cannot stick to something for an extraordinary period of time without the immediate payoff or result. The world belongs to those who can work without seeing the result of their continued work. If you can just extend your time horizons on your goals and stick to something for an incredible amount of time, you'll probably have what you want. Just don't stop showing up. It isn't easy, but it is simple. Don't ever complicate it. That's it. That's the magic. And he's right. Like, he's right. Like, he's right. And the way I know he's right, I'm going to tell you right now. Last year, when I started working out, every day, even now, every day I don't want to go to the gym. And I don't go to the gym every day. What I'm saying is every time I go to the gym, I don't want to go to the gym all the time. It's not based on your feelings for that day. It's based on. It's not based on your feelings for that day. It's based on, like, your goals in life. Don't do shit based off of your feelings because your feelings go up and down. So, like, babes, if you know you want to lose 30 pounds, you may not want to go to the gym today, but get your ass up and go. Hurry up and drink my coffee. Let me get my pics for my thumbnail, and then we're going to go home real quick, and then we're going to go and clean out the car. Okay, so I went upstairs. I had to pee. That's why I came home. I also changed into this, like, sweatshirt. Um, I'm going to spray this stuff in my car. 
it's just like black ice spray it smells so good but we're about to go clean my car um so yeah oh i also added some protein milk to my coffee because like they were tripping with the amount of oat milk they put in there it was barely any in there get into it and i'm gonna vacuum it after i'm so excited y'all don't understand my car is so dirty it's so dirty <sighs> it's so dirty y'all look look at the oh my gosh i'll just show you later hold on I had to make sure all my freaking windows are up because that is my worst fear. Oh, uh, she needed this so bad. Okay, let's vacuum out the car. Um, I'm pretty much going to move everything that's in my car to the trunk really fast so I can get the inside of the car done. I have to pee so bad, so we're going to make this very snappy. And I'm in a bad bitch in the garden of Let's go to the gym. I literally ate. I didn't even show you the finished product. I ate, watched half of a show, laid down, watched TikTok, and then um, I got dressed to come to go to the gym. We're just gonna do the stairmaster for like 30 minutes and then just call it a day. Yeah. The gym closes at seven. It's 5:47, so we have like an hour and less than 15 minutes to go until they close. But I'll probably get there at like 6.05. Okay, we just made it to the gym. The sun is like so bright. I guess you can't even see it. I hope nobody's in the car. The battery on this camera is about to die. So I'll be filming from my phone until I get back home later. So I will see you guys later after the gym. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. Please don't be mad. I'm back in my vlogging era. I'm back in my vlogging era. Okay. But I really just wanted to like talk on or speak on real quick what I spoke on in the beginning of my video. Um, it's raining y'all. I love the vibes though. But anyways, in the beginning of my video, I was just kind of talking about how, you know, like consistency and going after what you want and all those things. And I had a really good conversation with my coworker the other day. And we were just talking about how like, I don't know if you're in this space, but we're in this space. I'm 26. I went to high school. I went to college. I did all that. I've been working. I got married. And we were just talking about how like slow, not slow we feel, but just how like less smart we feel after college just how like life has been happening and like things that we want to do and better for ourselves personally have gotten so far away from us because we're trying to survive we're trying to pay bills you know you graduate you get your job you're trying to establish yourself all of those things um so i wanted to say like give yourself grace and it's something that i'm learning as well but also this prompted me to start a series on my youtube channel basically being in your 20s navigating like all the different spaces of life 
um, as you just grow and things I wish I had learned or knew in my 20s. I hope that you got something from this video. I hope you valuable information or gave you value throughout my vlog. It's something I'm really working on um, because I want my vlogs to be fun, but I also want them to be a place that you can come and learn something or share your thoughts or you can resonate with me. Anyways, thank you for coming to my vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end this so that I can edit it and get it posted. Uh, T -T, two turn, baby.